My name is Evelyn Harrington. I am the CEO and General Manager of Fargo Electronics to Make a Limited. And as I mentioned, Fargo has been in the free zone since April in 1992. And we make um, printed circuit boards and cable harnesses and mechanical sub-assemblies for specialty niche, mark print, niche market printers. Um, we make them for the brand name Primera Technologies Inc. And they are the builders of unusual printers that are distributed in over 207 countries worldwide. Um, we make all of their motherboards, uh, main, their main boards, and their cable harnesses and mechanical sub-assemblies. So then this is the first stage, and we inspect the pasting to make sure that it's even and well distributed. Then we come to the pick and paste machines, which is semi-automated, and it works on a vacuum head, which picks up the different components, which can be up to 400 on a board, and places them using a vacuum nozzle and a, and a camera, specifically in the designated zone where the component is supposed to be. And you can see the monitors here showing how it works. So the next part of the process, the board is visually inspected and then it goes to a reflow oven, which has five different heat zones and the reflow oven cements the component onto the actual board by heating the solder paste to the different profiles to make the connection secure. After the board has been through the reflow oven, it's surface mount inspected by our gentleman over here using microscopes. And that's part of the next part of the process. And then the plastic components, which are put through the through hole parts by hand. And then those parts are hand soldered by the people in the touch up area. And then after the touch up is done by hand, it's visually inspected again by the auditors. And then there's a functional test, which is done at the top of the productions, production line. The other things that Fargo Electronics does is we make cable harnesses for motors and we make secondary boards and mechanical sub assemblies. So I can show you some of those over here. So we crimp a different selection and array of wires onto different connectors. Um, all of these connectors are plastic um, and made of various different um, um, polymers. So there's lots of different elements to the sizes and shapes of these things. And then again, everything is inspected at every stage of the way. So once we have things crimped, they're audited. They're inspected for any errors, make sure that the drawing and the actual assembly correspond to each other and that everything is in perfect working order. And again, this section now we're seeing the auditing, the visual inspection of the assembled um, PCB and then the physical testing, the functional test of the PCB to make sure that it's all the bells and whistles work, that the drawers open, the parts move and that it powers up the way it's supposed to. We also load our own proprietary software. So everything gets put at this stage. So then the main board and the motherboards and all the secondary boards that are going into the printer, one of the speciality printers that we build them for, that they're all in proper working order. Um, the only thing that I'm looking for that we don't have yet is a way to consolidate less than a container load out of Montego Bay. Um, the big thing that Fargo would like to have as part of its options to export is the ability to ship less than a container load weekly, bi-weekly or, or monthly out of Montego Bay. And at present that is not available to us because we're a bonded free zone company, part of the special economic zone. And the, the paperwork and the the, the complexities of getting bonded goods across the island and then maintaining their integrity and safety while waiting for export while they're under the care of three or four different sets of people makes it a little bit of a logistic issue. So if we could less than a container load export out of Montego Bay, that would be perfect for us. So that's what I'm hoping we're going to find sooner or later.